Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, my name's Alexa Ray. And welcome to another video. I'm so glad you're here, and I'm so glad you clicked on today's video. This is such a hard video for me to film, and I've been putting it off for a few weeks now. I actually put out a couple videos back saying that I was going to be doing a big book on haul. I've been seeing them pop up on YouTube a lot lately, and they just seem like really fun videos, and I've had a lot of books that I've been eyeing for quite a while now. It's time to pass them on to new home, make room for new books in my library. These are books that I just know I'm never going to go back and read. They're not my favorite books or they're just books I haven't read and I know I'm not going to read. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a massive book unhaul for you guys. As you can tell, I have a pretty big stack of books that I'm going to be unhauling for you guys today. It's kind of sad. I've never really gotten rid of books before, so this is definitely new for me. But like I said, it's just time to make room in my library for more books. It's time to pass these ones on to new homes and let them be loved by other people. I've also been getting a lot of questions regarding what I'm going to be doing with these books. I have a few options and I'm basically going to let you guys decide what happens to these books. One second. <laughs> okay much better. I'm basically letting you guys decide what happens to these books. The future of these books are literally in your hands. I recently made a profile on Pango Books, which is basically an app where you can sell and buy used books. I'll have it linked down below for you guys, and I will be listing some of these books on Pango. I did get a few messages asking if I would do a little giveaway with the books, so maybe I'll put together some little book packages for you guys, and we could do a fun little giveaway with that. But you have to comment down below what books you would like to see in those packages. So I'm hoping to work out a little giveaway for you guys, including some of these books. I will probably be selling some of them over on Pango, which I'll have linked down below. And then as for the rest of the books that don't make it into those two categories, I'll probably be donating them. I know a bunch of free little libraries around my town, so I might drop some books off at those. Yeah, that's that, I guess. We are going to hop right into it, though. I have, I don't even know how many books I actually have here, but we have a bunch, as you can see. I think I kind of have them a little bit organized, but we're gonna jump right into it. We're gonna start with Addicted to You by Krista and Becca Ritchie. I'm sure a bunch of you are like, what? What's going on right now? I actually have another copy of this book that I've already read and annotated. So this one is brand spanking new. If you're not familiar, this is book one in the Addicted series. It's a very popular, hyped up book talk romance series. She is one of the first books to be going. Next up we have Virgin River by Robin Carr. This I've had for the longest time. I love the Netflix show. If you guys have not watched Virgin River on Netflix, Highly recommend. Go watch it. It's incredible. I'm obsessed with it. I enjoyed the book as well. Not as much as I enjoyed the show, but the book was pretty good. It gives off small town country vibes. It's adorable. Highly recommend. Next up I have To All the Boys I've Loved Before by Jenny Han. This is book one in the series and it's also a Netflix film series, which I absolutely love. I just don't see a need to hold on to it because I'm definitely not going to go back and reread it anytime soon. Then we have Mr. Malcolm's List by Suzanne Allen, I believe. I don't know how to pronounce it. This is a really cute shorty little book. I actually never ended up reading it. For the longest time I was super into these types of books that took place in like the 1800s. I just suddenly stopped one day. I wasn't super into it so I just never picked this up and I really don't see myself picking it up so Mr. Malcolm's List is heading out. We have Fifty Shades of Grey by E.L. James. If you guys don't know what this is, good. We have The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald. I have a different copy of this with a really cool cover and pictures inside, so I decided to give away my OG copy. I've had this for the longest time now, and it's absolutely gorgeous. I love this one. We have Milk and Honey. This is just a poetry book. It was super popular back in like 2016. I have another copy of this as well, so I'm giving this one away. Midnight Sun by Stephanie Meyer. This is actually part of the Twilight Saga? Wait, no. It's like a spin-off, I think. I can't remember, honestly. I'm pretty sure this is essentially the same story as Twilight, but told from Edward's point of view, which is super interesting. So, if you're a Twilight fan. Next up, we have First Touch and Last Kiss by Laurelyn Page. I recently got these sent to me by a publishing house, but they just don't seem like my type of... 
my type of vibe, I guess you could say. We have Maggie Moves On by Lucy Score. This is like the book version before the actual book came out. I was sent an early copy of it before this actually came out in June of last year. And as you can see, like the spine isn't finished and this is what the back looks like. So I already have Maggie Moves On as the release version. So I'm giving my pre-version away. And then we also have Always Be My Duchess by Molly Howard. This is another pre-release book, but it's actually finished. I don't know why this one wasn't. We have The Fake by Zoe Whittle. This just came out in March of this year, and this is another pre-release copy. We have The Guest by Emma Klein, another really cool book. I don't want to force myself to read books that I know I'm not going to really be into because then I get into a reading slump, and reading is supposed to be fun and enjoyable. This is To Catcher by Alice K. Wayne. This is actually a book I got from when I did a blind date with a book. I never ended up posting that video because the books I wound up unwrapping were kind of like this one and it's just again not my favorite, not my type of vibe, just very different for me. Now we are getting into some coho books which I never thought I would actually give away any of my coho books but I just know it's for the best. So I'm giving away Maybe Not and Maybe Now. This is a novella and then Maybe Now comes right after it. It was my least favorite coho book I've ever read. I didn't like the trope, I didn't like the storyline, I just didn't like anything about it. Even the characters really threw me off. And then I'm also giving away Finding Cinderella. This is another novella. I don't need it. And also I don't like real people on covers, kind of cringe. And we have Romantic Comedy by Curtis Sittenfield. This also just came out. I received this in the mail from the publisher to try out, but I didn't realize I was receiving this in the mail. And I wound up ordering from Book of the Month my own copy. So I already own this one as well as a hardcover, so I'm going to be giving away this one. We have The Trouble with Hating You. It kind of gives off the hating game vibe. We Should Hang Out Sometime by Josh Sunquist. Embarrassingly a true story. He writes his own little story about his life and how he's never had a girlfriend. It's super funny. There's like a bunch of jokes in it. And then we have Something Borrowed by Emily Giffen. I bought this book like the longest time ago because I thought I would love it because I saw the film a few years ago and I really enjoyed that film and then I watched it again recently and I realized how disturbing the film is. <laughs> it's just one of those tropes I could not get on board with. Then we have An Heiress Guide to Deception and Desire and A Lady's Guide to Mischief and Mayhem. These are by Amanda Collins. I love book covers from Amanda Collins. I think they are so cute. I have Forget Me Not by Julie Sato. Look how cool this looks. This is like the pre-release version and I'd really like to get the finished copy one. We have Hush Hush by Becca Fitzpatrick. I remember when I picked this up some time last year I think and I was so excited to read it because it sounded so cool. I don't like this cover. This is not it and just seeing it on my bookshelf every day I just wanted it gone so that's why I'm giving this one away as well. We have To Wake a Kingdom by Nisha J. Tui. This is so cool. This is like a fun little fantasy read. Next up we have The Dead Romantics by Ashley Poston. How cool is this? This is another book I've had for the longest time and I know I'm not going to pick it up and read it so I'm finally rehoming it. I hear so many people love this book though. Then we have In Five Years by Rebecca Surley. This is another book that I really wanted to read and like look at the cover. I love this cover. It's so cool but I could not get into it. I read a few chapters and it just wasn't it just wasn't for me. I wasn't really liking the writing style and it was kind of slow. Then we have Kingdom of the Wicked by Carrie Montescalo. I recently picked up a box set though of all three books so I no longer need my little paper back cover. Next up I have a ton of self-help books. I have Untamed by Glennon Doyle. Then we have The Quarter Life Breakthrough by Adam Smiley Pozwalski. What a great name. I love that. You Are a Badass by Jen Sincero. Sincero? something like that. This is a super popular book as well. I feel like everyone has probably seen it or read it. Almost Adulting by Arden Rose. This is such a fun cover. I love everything about this cover. And then I have How Lovely the Ruins. This was actually a gift from one of my friends a few years ago. This one's a bunch of little poems. I'm also giving away my little book club book because I have not used it. Hi King. This is for meetups and stuff in real life. Next up, we have books that I have not read. They're all romances, but they take place in time periods that, again, I'm just not really into anymore. I also don't like 
the size of them like they're the super tiny books they just don't go with my other books on my bookshelf so we have the duke heist by erica ridley the rebel in the rig by emily sullivan the helian and the hero by emily sullivan i think that's part of the same series nobody's princess by erica ridley the beachside bed and breakfast by hope ramsey the summer cottage by annie rains the inn on sweet briar lane i think this is adorable because there's a little cat in the window and i love that the perks of loving a Wallflower by Erica Ridley. Return to Cherry Blossom Way by Jenny Chin. A Table for Two by Cheryl Lister. We have The Lost Children by Shirley Dixon, which I just could not bring myself to read. Sounds really sad. And then we have The French House by Helen Frith. We have Sea Glass Summer. And then last but not least, we have A Lady for a Duke. I think I got sent a lot of these because I was super into Bridgerton about like a year or two ago and I still am. By the way, I'm still very into Bridgerton. I never picked them up and I knew I never would so here we are basically. But that is all for my book on haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you had fun. Don't forget to comment down below what books you guys would like to see over on my Pingo and then also if you'd like me to do a giveaway with some of them, make little book bundles, stuff like that. This was very well needed though. I needed to clean my bookshelves off because they were getting out of control. If you guys haven't seen it yet, I did a bookshelf organization and I give you a tour of all my books and stuff and that's basically when I pulled off all of these books and was like, okay, it's time to get rid of some books and deep clean, do some spring cleaning. I feel like I'm becoming a book hoarder. Like I don't want to get rid of any books ever, but I need to. Anyways, thanks for hanging out with me today. Don't forget to comment down below what you guys want to see on Pango. If you guys want me to do a giveaway, all that fun stuff. But I love you guys so, so much, and I'll see you in my next video.